ever wondered how materials transport through your body? Probably not, but the circulatory system is the highway that travels through your entire body, connecting all the body cells. And one of its little buddy helpers is the excretory system, which makes you pee. The main organ of the circulatory system, the heart, pumps blood throughout the body. This blood is carried away from the body through arteries. Next in line is the capillaries, which connect the arteries to veins and let materials pass through the blood through capillary walls. Once blood is transferred to the veins, the blood travels back to the heart to start the process again, transporting nutrients, oxygen, waste, and other materials along the way. In the excretory system, kidneys are at the center of it all. In this system, the kidneys help excrete nitrogen, oxygen, and other materials found in urine. Substances removed by the kidneys form urine. Urine is made in tiny tubes called nephrons. The filtrate flows through the renal tubule and returns to the blood by being selectively transported through the walls. This is called reabsorption. Urine is eliminated by the bladder and through the urethra. The processes that take place in the human body are extraordinarily complex. It is this complexity that causes the need for many different interconnecting systems of the human body. Each of these systems has their own specific function to help the human body carry out the necessary processes. It is the job of the circulatory system to transport materials such as nutrients, water, and oxygen to the billions of body cells inside of the average human. It also carries away waste such as carbon dioxide that cells produce due to cellular respiration. Each part of the circulatory system carries out its own specific function to transport substances throughout the body. The excretory system's main function is to get rid of all wastes that are a byproduct of homeostasis. Some of these wastes include urine, feces, and sweat. Several parts of the body are involved in the excretory system, even some of the organs that are part of another body system. Several organs are involved in both the excretory and circulatory systems. Each organ is very important to the proper functioning of the system. The cardiovascular system is one component of the circulatory system. The heart, blood, and blood vessels are all a part of the circulatory system. The heart is the central organ in the circulatory system, which pumps substances in the blood through the blood. The heart includes multiple parts, including but not limited to the left and right atrium, the left and right ventricle, the tricuspid and mitral valves, the septum, and the aortic and pulmonary valves. Blood is powerfully pumped throughout the entire body to all of its cells by the heart, carrying oxygen and other materials to the body. The blood and blood vessels are also very important to the circulatory system. Once blood is pumped out of the heart, it travels through arteries, substances are dispersed and used, it connects to the capillaries, and then the veins carry it all back to the heart. Blood is made up of red blood cells, good for carrying carbon dioxide to the lungs, while white blood cells fight off germs or infections. Platelets cohesively bind up any wounds of the skin by sticking to the opening of damaged vessels. Red blood cells, white blood cells, and platelets are all made by the marrow inside of bones. Blood is pumped so powerfully by the heart that a liquid is squeezed out of the capillaries called lymph. Lymph is the excess fluid and tissue made up of white blood cells that drains into the bloodstream through the lymphatic system. The lymphatic system is made up of the lymph nodes, the lymph vessels, and lymph. The main purpose of the lymphatic system is to return fluids that have gathered in the tissues to the bloodstream. Lymph vessels are similar to the capillaries in the circulatory system and merge into larger lymph vessels, which are similar to veins. Unlike the cardiovascular system, the lymphatic system does not form a complete circuit throughout the whole body, but transports fluids one way back to the bloodstream. The major part of the excretory system is the urinary system. This includes the kidneys, ureters, urinary bladder, and the urethra. The kidneys are two bean-shaped organs located just below the rib cage that extract waste from the blood, form urine, eliminate nitrogenous compounds from the processing of proteins, and eradicate carbon dioxide from cellular respiration. The renal cortex contains structures that filter blood brought by the renal artery. Inside of the renal medulla, structures called nephrons make urine and carry it to the funnel-shaped renal pelvis. The renal vein sends filtered blood back to the heart to rejoin the circulatory cycle. Since the body still needs to retain many of the substances removed by filtration, Materials are sent through the renal tubule and selectively carried through its walls in reabsorption. The remaining fluid and waste are processed by collecting duct in the loop of Henle, where they are then sent down the ureter to the bladder where they exit the body through the urethra. The liver and large intestine are also slightly involved in the excretory system as well. The liver breaks down toxic substances and secretes bile, which is important in the digestion of fats. The function of the large intestine or colon is to reabsorb fluids and process waste of the body to prepare for its injection. The large intestine has four main parts, the ascending colon, transverse colon, descending colon, and sigmoid colon. There are also the last two parts of the large intestine, which includes the rectum and anal canal. Once fecal matter is processed and solidifies, it is eliminated through the anus. Although the lungs are part of the respiratory system, they also play a part in the excretory system. The lungs are the location of gas exchange between the atmosphere and the blood. When air is filtered into the body, it travels through the nasal cavity, down the throat, and into the two bronchi that branch off into each lung. Air is then passed onto the bronchioles in the lungs, and eventually to, into tiny air sacs called alveoli. Each alveolus is surrounded by the network of capillaries. Oxygen and other materials pass through these capillary walls into the bloodstream where they are distributed throughout the body. Eventually, carbon dioxide is transported back to the lungs and expelled through the nose and or mouth. 
Urea, uric acid, and water all pass through the blood vessels of the circulatory system. These fluids are all used in the excretory system in the processing and elimination of wastes. Wastes are transported through the blood towards the excretory system so they may be removed from the body. Also, during reabsorption, necessary substances are transported back to the circulatory system by the renal tubule into the blood. Blood that circulates through the body passes through one of the two kidneys to be rid of wastes. The circulatory system pumps waste and other materials through the body, and when the blood reaches the capillaries near the kidneys, it is transferred into the kidney to be processed and rid of wastes. After the blood is turned into urine and reprocessed, substances that aren't considered waste are sent back to the bloodstream to continue circulating through the body. The lungs are also connected to the excretory system because of their disposal of carbon dioxide during cellular respiration. Oxygen is transported throughout the body by blood when it is taken in through the lungs. After it is sent through the body and turned into carbon dioxide, this carbon dioxide is sent back out to the lungs and released from the body. One disease that affects the circulatory system is atherosclerosis, in which due to a fatty diet, fatty plaque lining the blood vessels can become calcified and harden in the arteries. Atherosclerosis can cause heart attacks, strokes, and peripheral vascular disease. Arteries are lined with a thin layer of endothelium that can be damaged by high blood pressure, smoking, or high cholesterol. This damage leads to the formation of plaque on the artery walls. Once the blockage is there, there's generally nothing to do to remove it. Lifestyle changes and medication can help stop or slow the growth of plaque, and more aggressive methods can help strengthen you. The kidneys remove excess fluids and waste from the blood, maintain the balance of minerals and salt in the blood, and help regulate blood pressure. Acute kidney injuries can be caused by lack of blood flow to the kidneys, blockage of urine, direct damage to the kidneys themselves, dehydration, or damage from drugs or toxins. Chronic kidney disease is usually caused by immune system conditions such as an autoimmune disorder, urinary tract infections, inflammation in the glomeruli, congenital defects, and drugs and toxins. Kidney failure may cause weakness, shortness of breath, lethargy, and confusion. Bladder infections known as cystitis are most usually caused by certain strains of E. coli bacteria that live in that region or germs that enter through the urethra into the bladder. The bacteria attaches to the walls of the bladder and multiplies rapidly much quicker than the body's ability for white blood cells to fight the infection. Symptoms include cloudy or bloody urine, pain or burning when urinating, low fever, frequent sensation of the need to pee, cramps in the lower back and or abdomen, and smelly urine. Some home treatments right, relieve symptoms of the infection and treatment with oral medications can kill the bacteria. The circulatory system is made up of the cardiovascular system and the lymphatic system and consists mainly of blood, the heart, blood vessels, lymph, lymph nodes, and lymph vessels. The job of the circulatory system is to transport nutrients, oxygen, water, waste, and other materials throughout the body to all of its cells. The excretory system includes the kidneys, ureters, urinary bladder, the urethra, and sometimes includes the lungs, skin, liver, and large intestine. The main job of the excretory system is to rid the body of waste. The circulatory system transports waste to the excretory organs through the blood. In this way, the two systems are connected through blood and the transportation of waste and other materials.